39.5 of adults in America are obese and 18.5 of children in America are obese. Throughout school, I was the funny fat kid. For as long as I can remember, I was always overweight. As I slowly gained more weight, my mental health degraded. I found comfort in two things, food and pets. Since I couldn't have an endless supply of pets, food was the next best thing. Whenever emotion I felt, I had to eat. I would always be eating. I developed a mindset that in order to be happy, I needed to eat. But as I became more obese, I became sad when clothes no longer fit me and I couldn't find my size in stores. Then I turned to food again. In 2021, I was diagnosed with polycystic ovary syndrome. At the time, I thought PCOS only affected my ovaries. Uneducated and stubborn, I continued to eat. Obesity, what is it? It's a complex chronic disease that involves decades of pathophysiological changes and adaptation. Most people suffer difficulties with their cardiovascular health and diabetes. To overcome these challenges, researchers look to the mice. The mouse model of diet-induced obesity is vital for understanding obesity in Western areas, such as the United States. It can demonstrate the high-fat diet consumed here and obesity development under a short period of time. The B6 model re represents the human obesity progression pattern the most accurately and efficiently. Weight gain can, see, can be seen in two weeks and is apparent after four weeks. After 16 weeks, the high-fat diet mice develop apidotite hyperplasma, fat deposition in the menisteri, increased fat mass, diabetes, and hypertension. Important discoveries through obese mice discovered the important signaling pathways AKT and MTOR are related to obesity and weight gain. When these pathways were inhibited, the AKT and mTOR pathways prevent growth, growth and mice without the AKT were prevented from a diet-induced ob obesity. This also helps researchers understand insulin resistance and sensitivity. That's something that if I were to continue to be eating food currently today, that's a problem I would have dealt with as someone who had suffered from obesity and PCOS. It's a very common symptom of both of those problems and it helps patients feel fuller for longer and it also helps with craving for food. Some other research opportunities through obese mice was uh, lead researcher Ezen Kekar discovered that increasing the sensitivity of obese mice to leptin decreased the mice's mass. After a few weeks, the mice lost 25% of body weight without a loss of energy, which is commonly associated with less, less food intake. Then, when he tried um, increasing the sensitivity of the lean mice to leptin, their body mass was not reduced. Overall, mice are vital for the understanding of cell growth and metabolism. In future years, I hope that these obese mice are able to solve problems such as tumors, cancers, and obesity. All of these problems revolve around cell growth. And with further research provided by mice, researchers may be able to understand what may cause cell growth and how they're all intertwined to affect obesity, cancers, and abnormal cell growth. Here are my sources!